an eighth for a purse of half a million. With the call, here's Tom Durkin. And there's Amen. Hallelujah. Moving into post position number 13. Alongside her, Joni's catch already in the gate. Ready for the start of the 136th Kentucky Oaks. And they are off. It's tea time down toward the inside, right alongside Jody Slew is there in Age of Humor. Tidal pool right there in the thick of it in mid pack early on. Elalia joins the early pace on the far outside. So they head for the clubhouse turn. And a pumped up and keen Elalia there on the far outside. Age of Humor down toward the rail. And in between those two, it's Tidal pool comes on to grab the lead now. And then it's Evening Jewel fourth toward the inside. Joni's catch is now fifth. It's tea time six toward the inside. Amen. Hallelujah runs in seventh. Crisp is eighth. Champagne Doro ninth toward the inside. Jody Slew is now 10th. Beautician is racing 11th. Quiet Temper down toward the inside is 12th. Bella Diamante is 13th. And yes, Blind Luck, the favorite, is the last, the last of 14 as they continue their run up the backstretch. The opening half mile was a sensible 48 seconds flat. Blind Luck still last. 13 horses to pass with about a half mile to do it. The field approaching the far turn. Tidal pool leads as they pass the half mile pole. Ayla Lee is second on the outside. Evening Jewel third and starting to march now. She's up in the fourth. Amen, hallelujah. Runs in fifth position. In the meantime, from the back of the pack, Blind Luck is launching her bid and she's rocketing past horses. One by one, she was last a moment ago and now she's sixth on the far outside and continues to close down with a dramatic move. And it's Tidal Pool who turns for home with the lead. Evening Jewel runs in second. Amen, hallelujah is third. Far outside, Blind Luck is now fourth. One for long to go. Evening Jewels come away with the lead. Evening Jewel and Tidal Pool. Blind Luck is full out and she continues to close down, but time's running out. There's only 100 yards. Blind Luck continues a dramatic run. And Evening Jewel, Evening Jewel digs down. Blind Luck, here's the wire. Photo finish. Their noses were bobbing up and down. Oh, what a thrill of this Oaks was. Did Blind Luck come from 14th in the field? to catch Evening Jewel on the wire. It was too close to call. What a thriller. And doesn't blind luck look pretty in pink? <laughs> well, blind luck coming from absolutely dead last. She made a huge move. And then Evening Jewel hanging tough under Kent DeSormo. Blind luck on coming under Rafael Bejarano. They hit the wire right together. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, if uh, blind luck does win this photo finish, it won't be the first time that she's won a close finish this year. She has a way of making it tough on herself in the final stages, getting up to find a way to win, but I'm not sure if she did get there, Tom. It's close. Evening Jewel, Kent DeSormo already with a couple winners today, and uh, Kent DeSormo evidently not uh, showing the signs that he won, and there's a look of uh, confusion there from Raphael, too. I've been in that spot before, Tom. Not a good feeling if you don't know if you got up. There's Donna. Well, Donna's pulled alongside uh, Rafael Bejarano and Blind Luck to see if he thinks he won or not. Rafael, it was a very, very close finish. I have to tell you, I asked Kent DeSormo if he thought he won it. He said he did not think he won it. What did you think? Uh, well, you know, I looked my horse ahead in the, in the, in the stretch, right in the, in the line. He put it right ahead, so. You feel like you got ahead in front right at the wire? I feel like I got ahead in front of him, you know? Talk to me about her being so far back in the early stages of the race. Well, you know, she she have only one style, you know, and she's been trying it like this whole way. So I think, you know, she's she she gonna improve a lot, in, especially in this race, you know. I saw a lot of speed in the race, so I just let him break in where I feel comfortable and put in the race. But you know, uh, I just get it comfortable and from the half a mile, Donna. I, let him, I let him go, you know. And she's, Donna, Raphael, he won. I have good news for you. Donna, they he have won. just made it official. You won. Congratulations. So you were saying that her running style is to come from well off the pace and, and let the early runners go. Did you have a good trip throughout the race? Oh, yeah, definitely. In the first round, you know, uh, I let him go. My, I let him break my horse because he was a little nervous in the game. But then after that, you know, he broke really good. And I tried to, you know, set up the pacing, let him relax. That's the way he, she was relaxed. Are you going to tell us straight or you want me leave to? It like, leave it alone. And, you know, I was great right behind with everybody, but I know everybody because she got it like this kind of style. You know. Congratulations. Okay. Well done. Let's go to Kenny Rice. All right. Thanks, Donna. I'm with one of the co-owners, Dr. Mark D. Domenico. You're a heart specialist. I guess that comes in handy with some of the close wins for blind luck. 
Almost had a heart attack watching that one, didn't we? What did you think when she had to catch up with the entire field a half a mile to go? I've seen this over and over again. She does this all the time. And she keeps winning. She keeps winning. Congratulations. She seems to know where the finish line's at. Thank you. All right, congratulations, yeah. doctor. All right, Tom, as he said, uh, good thing they had a heart specialist in this section today. Back to you. <laughs> that was a thrilling finish as uh, Rafael Bejarano gets his first Oaks win, the third for trainer and part owner Jerry Hollendorfer. You know, and they uh, argued about what were they going to do? Were they going to run in the Derby or not? Well, they made the right decision today. There's blind luck. Rafael Bejarano inside of the last eighth of a mile. It looks like she was going to blow away from the field, and then she hung a little bit. Game effort, huge effort from e Evening Jewel here. But as I say, some of these thoroughbreds, they, they have a way of having a nose for the wire, if you will, no pun intended, but she can smell the finish line. She's won several close finishes now. She does it again today. One disadvantage for her was this 14-horse field and having to circle all of them. She lost a lot of ground coming into the stretch, and there's a happy Dr. Mark Didomenico. <laughs> Made the right, right choice there, boss. <laughs> that tested his heart and ours as well. What a thrilling finish. To the 136 Kentucky Oaks as blind luck the favorite wins by a narrow margin over the game well. evening jewel just getting up to win it in the final strides under Rafael Bejarano there are the official results blind luck evening jewel and title pool.